Hello, and welcome to Storytime Reddit. Today's story comes from r slash am I the a-hole? We have four stories today. First up, am I the a-hole for refusing to put on my top while I'm sunbathing in front of my friends? Second story is, am I the a-hole for getting my daughter's ears pierced without telling my husband? Third, am I the a-hole? I flipped out on my fiance for selling the gaming chair my brother gifted me to pay for her gym membership. Fourth and final story is, am I the a-hole for yelling at my mom that I hate Harry Potter to let me live my own life? So this past weekend, me and my friends wanted to hang out one more time before finals and the holidays. We live in a very warm part of the country where it's essentially summer, so we went to my friend's big house to spend the weekend and use her pool. Two of the guys in my friend group invited their girlfriends. In total, there were four ladies and three men. I'm not a Native American. I only have lived in the U.S. for the past three years, and I'm still learning some things about the country and what's acceptable and what's not here. So I wanted to just sunbathe a little before joining in on the pool, during which I took off my bikini top. In my home country, there isn't really an issue with women wanting to sunbathe topless. I didn't think it was obscene or inappropriate, and honestly, I'm not particularly well endowed, so I didn't think I was too attention-grabbing. I was on my stomach first and then switched to my back. I don't think I was being stared at, but I had my eyes closed most of the time. Whenever I did open them, no one was focused on me. About 10 minutes in, the two invited guests came up to me. If they had just said, hey, I don't feel comfortable with you being topless around my partner, could you please put on your top? I would have done it. But what she did was drop my top on my stomach and say that I need to put my breasts away in front of her man. Because I thought she was just being rude for no reason, as I didn't know I was being unnormal, I said no. Then she said, I don't know what they do in France, I'm not even French, but here, most women don't parade themselves around like this unless they are a whore. So I got mad, and an argument ensued. Their boyfriends came to break it up, and my friend pulled me to the side and explained to me that this wasn't typical in the US, and the guys had been looking at me a lot. So I put back on my top. Now the boyfriends are trying to get me to apologize, which I don't think I should, and think I was being a jerk. Am I the a-hole? 1. Also, there's a thing about non-consensual exposure. 2. They had a point, but I agree that they could have been a bit better with voicing it. It's not non-consensual exposure when a man does it, so why when a woman? So much pearl clutching in this thread, my goodness. Everyone sucks here. Any nudity that's beyond the cultural norm of a situation should be consented to from the people you're with. But they were rude about how they handled it, and the guy shouldn't have ogled you. Also, you're the a-hole for saying, I'm not particularly well endowed, so I wasn't too attention-grabbing. Can people who post in here about boobs stop acting like women with small ones don't get checked out too? We definitely do. In the US, if boobs are out, everybody's looking. Can confirm, everyone loves them. And now, am I the a-hole for getting my daughter's ears pierced without telling my husband? Context. Me, female 26, and my husband, male 32, welcomed our daughter several months ago. So far, we've agreed on every decision made regarding our daughter, but the topic of piercing her ears came up, and he said he didn't like the idea despite me explaining that 1. It's a normal thing for babies, and 2. It looks pretty. 3. No, it's not cultural, we're both white, but it's a great new experience, in my opinion. He said he needed time to think about it, but weeks went by, and he hasn't said okay yet. Mom suggested we do it behind his back, and he'll then come around and see for himself that it's a good thing, since he was having doubts and being indecisive. I was hesitant, but I agreed, and chose a day where he was out all day. Thankfully, it went smoothly, but when my husband got home and found out that he lost his temper and went on about what a major breach of trust I'd just committed, how I should never decided to do this without him fully agreeing since he's the parent too, and got extra mad that I went behind his back and was being sneaky and untruthful about it. I tried to explain that first it was my mom's idea. I didn't think he'd overreact like that, but he insisted that I did was not okay and that I overruled him as a parent and damaged the trust we have and also put our daughter through pain and discomfort. I had an argument with him and told him he was acting like this is just his daughter. I'm the mother and my opinion does have heavier weight than his to some degree. He got offended by that and went to say with his mom who called and berated me for be going behind her son's back and treating him as a less than when it comes to our daughter, but I never understood why he thought that. He is not talking to me now. I think he's being selfish by saying he needed time to think about it, trying to stall without considering my point of view. Mom is on my side here, but he and my in-laws said I screwed up for making such a decision without his okay and going behind his back to get it done. 
Am I the a-hole? Edit slash putting this out there slash my husband was aware that I had plans to get our daughter's ears pierced and we've had many, many discussions about it. So it wasn't like it was out of the blue and I didn't bring it up with him. I did, but he kept giving me the same, I need time to think about it the entire time. How long was I supposed to wait? Why he kept stalling instead of just saying, just no. He just kept stalling and putting off any further discussion slash compromises that we could have had as a way maybe to get me to just abandon the whole idea. You are the a-hole. I don't blame him for being angry. You were definitely sneaky and untruthful and then tried to blame your mom for it. Also, I'm the mother and my opinion does have heavier weight than his at some point. What on earth makes you think this? I don't think that his mother should have gotten involved, but you still the a-hole. Also, I want to add that there's a good chance OP probably went to an unsanitary mall kiosk to get her daughter's ears pierced, which caused a lot of problems later in life. My mom did that to me, and my ears still leak pus to this day from the piercing holes. Only an assumption since OP didn't write exactly where she went to get it done, but I'd bet on it, to be honest. Edit. Forgot the judgment. <laughs> You're the a-hole, OP. Yep, OP is treating her daughter like a doll rather than a human being she's responsible for. She needlessly put her daughter through pain, and for what? So mommy can dress her up and make her look cute? The baby didn't want this. Mommy wanted this. Mommy is treating the baby like an accessory to herself. Next up, am I the a-hole? I flipped out on my fiancé for selling the gaming chair my brother gifted me to pay for her gym membership. I, male 33, lost my 27-year-old brother to cancer a couple of months ago. We were so close and had a lot in common. He was a gamer and had all types of gaming gear, including a gaming chair that he wanted me to have before he died. It's devastating because we were really hoping and had plans to spend Christmas 2021 together. This chair I consider special because it was my brother's favorite of all gear and it reminded me of him whenever I sat in it. I don't play anymore. It just brings me closer to him to a degree. I cannot explain it. it brings me so much comfort. I keep the chair in my office and days ago, I found out that my fiance, who has been out of a job and complaining about no longer being able to attend the gym, took the chair and sold it online to be able to pay for her next month's gym membership. When I found out, I flipped out hugely and had a very negative reaction. She told me that she was desperate for money and after selling all she had, she had no choice but to sell the chair. I reminded her of who this chair belongs to, but she said I already have tons of keepsakes for my brother and so I shouldn't act like it was the end of the world. She also vented about her past eating disorders and her anxiety when it comes to keeping fit and claimed I was dismissing that she is struggling. I yelled at her and called her inconsiderate and selfish and told her she should have never, ever took and sold any of my stuff for a gym membership when she literally could have kept working out from home. She started crying as we argued. Then she went to stay with her mom who tried to give me a stern talk about my attitude and I didn't answer that and haven't been talking to my fiance since then. Things haven't got better and I got called over dramatic for reacting and treating my fiance like that over a gaming chair. I feel guilty because I've never yelled at her in my life before. Am I the a-hole? Was I too hard on her? Some said I went overboard because this is a gaming chair and it was a bit childish of me to make a fuss over it. But I already explained why I had this reaction aside from the fact that money is an issue we already have. Edit. Because I feel like I should add more of her side to the conflict, she told me if I say I was struggling and needed money and sold some item she had, then she wouldn't be mad at me. But I'm not sure since I'd never do such thing. But still, she insisted that no matter what I do, she'll always be supportive and understanding, just like I should be supportive and understanding of her struggle right now. That made me feel horrible because she had a breakdown and cried because of me. Edit. Some asked about her age. She's 31 years old and we've been together for seven years. I'm sorry for not including that earlier on. I'll answer any further questions when I have the time. Not the a-hole. Sell the engagement ring you bought her and buy back your brother's gaming chair. Proceed based on her reaction to that. This. You hit it. I swear to God this needs to happen. It hurts me to see some posts where it feels like the answer is obvious to me, but people are still asking if they're the a-hole. She stole something important and sold it for her gym membership. Get the hell out of here with that garbage. That's not something someone that loves you does. That's something that someone that loves themselves does. Not the a-hole. She didn't sell a gaming chair. She sold something with extreme sentimental value and meaning to OP. Something that reminds him of the brother he's lost. It's not her chair to sell. She just went ahead and sold it like it's hers. 
That's theft, especially considering the sentimental value. It's not a life-saving medication. It's the effing gem. Jesus. Why doesn't fiancé have a job? She's blaming OP for her mental illness and is willing to steal something with significant emotional value over a gym membership? This is not okay. OP, she doesn't love you. Someone who does will respect your things and won't blame you for their problems. She made it clear how much she values your trust, and it's worth one month of gym membership to her. She's a disrespectful, narcissistic thief. She needs to go. OP, she told you to pay for a bag? Huh, no. That stuff was stolen from you by her. You should get it back ASAP and make her pay. When that's done, kick her to the curb. And for the fourth and final story, am I the a-hole for yelling at my mom that I hate Harry Potter and to let me live my own life? As my title suggests, my mom is a huge Harry Potter nut. She and my dad actually met in Harry Potter IRC, like Discord, but for old people, in the early 2000s, got married, had kids, and from day one decided to embarrass us for life by naming us after some Harry Potter and Star Wars characters. It's honestly been hell. I have a stupid name, and since we were little, my parents have forced stuff like Harry Potter, Star Wars, Marvel movies, etc., etc., down our throats. Everything is about dragons and magic and blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of it. Every birthday, every holiday, everything is just organized around fandom. So just like every Christmas, the days leading up to Christmas, we have to sit down every night and watch Harry Potter movies. It's so effing boring. I can usually get away with knitting or drawing on my iPad during this, but this year my mom was like, let's just have a technology and distraction-free night every night. I arranged to go over to my friend Missy's house instead for like two nights. Missy's family is normal and likes things a normal amount. My mom got really mad and started talking about how it's a family tradition and how I'm basically rejecting her and went on her whole thing about how you wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Harry Potter. I finally had it and just yelled, Nobody cares that you were a big name in the Harry Potter fan club. I don't like Harry Potter. I don't like Star Wars. I hate Marvel movies. They're all so boring. Please just let me have my own interests. I couldn't help it. I started crying because I was just so frustrated because everything always has to be about Harry Potter this, Star Wars that. And now that we're all older, they started doing Game of Thrones. Everything is centered around some kind of movie or TV show or book series. Just once, I want my family to band around something that doesn't have to do with media or these nerdy things. We live in Utah, where we have like five national parks, and even though I ask every year for my birthday, I've never even been to Arches. Well, my sister called me saying that mom was angry, and to just come home and to stop with the theatrics. I told her that I'm sick of having all this old nerd stuff crammed down my throat, and just once, I want to have a normal time, watching normal Christmas movies, not having to pause for lightsaber battles. Am I the a-hole? Hey guys, I know you think you're cool and in on the joke, wink wink, when you DM me and ask me for my name, but I'm a teenage girl and that's not really how it's coming across. Please stop DMing me, I don't care. For those of you telling me in DMs IRC didn't do fandom, it was part of a live journal community. Someone in the community had a fan site they all liked. It had a chat room, I'm sure there was other stuff too. Not the a-hole. And your post is a great warning for all those people still thinking about naming their kid Anakin or Khaleesi. You're allowed to have your own interests, and your parents aren't making life easier by forcing things they like on you. Edit. RIP my inbox, I had no idea Anakin was such a popular name. I teach, and suddenly this year there are a lot of Esmes coming up. I did the math, and yes, conceived between 11 and 12 years ago. Peak twilight. Not the a-hole, but that IRC comment cut me to the core. Now I feel old. The sheer psychic damage reading that line KO'd me where I sat. Not the a-hole. Your reaction makes sense. It's 100% understandable. Extreme role players like this can be just as toxic as parents that micromanage their children. If you feel like you're not allowed to have your own interests, hobbies, alone time, you should be able to say so. I happen to be extremely nerdy. My mother tried to force me to become a dancer. I sucked. Not kidding, I mega sucked. Couldn't even do the splits, but she pressured me to go until the teacher stepped in and told her how miserable I was. She spent thousands each year on costumes, gas, hair, makeup. We spent endless hours traveling in hot buses for competitions. I literally had to stop at age 12 because I physically could not do what the other dancers could. I wasn't flexible, thank God. And above all, I wasn't interested. 
I felt so guilty because so many girls in my class at school love dancing. They would have loved to have a mom that was willing to spend big bucks to fly them to cheer competition, ballet, tap, hip-hop, skating. But it just wasn't for me. I was tired and moody 24-7. I can't even begin to describe how depressed it made me. I wanted to read manga. I did not want to spend 10 hours a week in two different dance studios. I didn't understand why my mom couldn't see that. Still don't. I completely understand. Your parents are not providing an inclusive environment, and it's not fair. I think you should try to sit them down and have a serious conversation about how you feel. Don't say you hate them. Say you want to share your hobbies with them. Parents should not expect their children to be clones of them. If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. I hope you'll come again soon. Bye for now.